I'm here, of course, to lead this organization, but I'm here to lead you to take back this country. And I know you have a whole bunch of questions about what he's like. Why is it him? What has he been doing? We will have time to do that because, you see, as a Southerner, I like to get to know people. And I was asked during the interview process, Kevin, if you're selected to be the next president of Heritage, are, are you going to bring your people? And my answer, and I mean this, is you are my people. Because you see, I tried 13 years to get my family back to Texas, which is our adopted home state. And some of you are thinking, why would you move from Texas up here? All kidding aside, it's because I see this as providence. And I don't mean that to, to imply that I'm more important than anyone else. It's providence that this great institution, we are an institution before we're an organization, is the single most influential entity in reminding Americans about self-governance. And there is no other institution that has the ability uniquely to remind the current regime, and I use that word purposefully, they are authoritarians, to get back in their box and stay there. I usually wear boots. I had a little surgery recently, which went great on my back. I, my back doctor said, you can't wear them to DC, man. But I like, I like to use them sometimes. <laughs> but with a smile on my face. And I learned that to be very serious when in eighth grade, I was just a few miles from here at Washington Irving Middle School in Springfield. I grew up in a working class family in Louisiana. The oil bust split us apart, literally. And I got into a debate with my civics teacher. Now, he was a good man, but he was also very left of center. Of course, today, he's probably on our side. <laughs> and I learned while, you know, you're in eighth grade and you're a guy, you might be a little passionate and not as respectful as I was expected to be in my family. He said, Mr. Roberts, it isn't that your ideas are wrong necessarily. It's that they don't have evidence. And so that next Saturday, I asked my mom, take me around and show me where the Heritage Foundation is. Now, this is before Al Gore invented the internet. <laughs> and it took me a little while to get my hands on you know, whatever the issue was. And God bless him, he, he took that and he said, you've got a future in this work. Keep looking at the evidence. That is when I knew that I was a conservative. I never put an adjective in front of that word because it is self-explanatory what it means and that it is a gigantic tent that I happen to believe represents two-thirds of Americans. And for the other third, God bless them too. I don't think that they're evil. I think that perhaps they have intentions that are really spurious sometimes. But I think we have an opportunity at the Heritage Foundation not only to help re-cohere the conservative movement at this really important time, but also to set a positive vision for America. That's why I'm here. That's why my wife, Michelle, who I think is tuning in via live stream, and our four kids would uproot ourselves from Texas and move up here, which we'll do in January. This day, ostensibly, is about me, but really it's about you, and that's how I like to lead. When I'm doing my job, I'm serving you. When I'm doing my job, I'm building your platform. When I'm doing my job, you don't know the sacrifices that leaders in our institution are making for you. And that's a way of saying that we will honor the great history of leaders, board members, presidents, my friend Kay, my intellectual mentor from afar for many years, Ed Fulner, and innovate based on that foundation. And so as conservatives at Heritage, we can both honor our past and look ahead to the future and realize we might look a little bit different in a year or five or 10. Those need not be mutually exclusive. Those are ideas that we can't do that or come from naysayers or people who just may not know enough about Heritage. And so as I wrap up here, I want to look ahead to two dates. 
The first is 2023, when this institution will celebrate its 50th anniversary. That's a tremendous opportunity for us together to do some introspection about what we do great and what we need to do great. And that's for any organization. Before I came here, I had staff meeting with my current staff in Texas and gave them the news. And I said the same thing. I'm not perfect. You'll learn that quickly. And so we're going to do this together. And, and, and any organization, any company in these moments of transition would have the opportunity and ought to, if they're worth a grain of salt, actually do that introspection. We're going to do that together and we're going to honor the service of Kay and Ed and anyone who's ever been in leadership roles or board roles here. That need not be an awkward conversation to set forward. And so when we celebrate our 50th anniversary in 2023, it's not going to be about us. It's going to be about the American people. Because any American from any walk of life born anywhere in any circumstances ought to see heritage as their beacon of truth. Many already do. You're already expanding the audience, but we're going to do an even better job of that in the future. And that'll lead us to another date that we will play a defining role in celebrating, 2026, the 250th anniversary of this great land. And I have a lot of thoughts there, being a historian of early America, but I'm not going to take all that time today. But what, what I will say is, a lot of times when we think about the American Revolution, because we know how it ended, we won, we forget the sacrifices along the way. We forget that our great American hero, George Washington, in terms of military affairs, was known as an, an expert at retreating which is important if those of you who've served in armed services, that's important. But he got a lot of practice in 1776 from the time the declaration was signed and announced to the time that it looked like his army would be crushed in New York. And it was in that context that he came up with the plan to cross the Delaware and surprise the other side and save the revolution. What we are going to do together is not merely enable this institution to flourish beyond any standard that it has flourished before. But by doing so, by serving one another, we are going to save this country. And I look forward to leading you in it. God bless you, and it's a great pleasure for me to reintroduce my friend Kay James back to the stage. More than one of you has asked me, how do you feel about today? And the answer to that is relieved. <laughs> Thankfully, I was allowed to be a part of the process. I read so many resumes. I talked to so many people. And I made a promise to you that I would do my job and do it well, and that I would have my one little vote go for someone that I thought would keep the legacy going, who understood the culture of heritage, who was as committed as each and every one of you is to our great nation. And boy, the night that the decision was made, and then today when the vote was taken, it was a great day for heritage, for the conservative movement, and for our country. Kevin, Thank you so much for stepping up to the plate and deciding to take on this great and important work. I said very early on that Heritage was a masterpiece and yet a work in progress. And it is still today. While we have accomplished much together, there is so much more that needs to be done. I can't think of anyone in America better to take on that challenge than you. I am so grateful to you for stepping up. I have never been more optimistic 
about the future of heritage, more optimistic about the future of our country. And it's all because of you and the incredible work that you do each and every day and for the leadership that you now have stepping up to lead us, all of us, uh, into the future. We are excited. And tell Michelle, I can't wait to meet her. I may have met her once, I think, but uh, to get to know her better and to welcome her to Washington. So with that, I want you all to have the opportunity to spend some time, uh, a little bit of time with Kevin. We're gonna have a reception up on the rooftop. We're gonna take a couple of pictures here. So if we could ask you to go ahead uh, up to the roof and uh, we will join you there momentarily after a few pictures. So please, thank you for being here this morning. And are you as excited as I am? <laughs> Thanks for watching the Heritage Foundation's YouTube channel. With more than half a million members, we are the nation's largest conservative research and education institution. We believe the principles and ideas of the American founding are worth conserving and renewing. Please help us further our mission by subscribing to this channel and sharing our videos with your family and friends.